YouTube. Let us see. And let us pause Trumbull. You know, this uh, silly uh, app of Patreon, when you post something, you think you post it, you check after 10 hours, you find it is not posted there. So you think like you invited the people and people then knew that you are live, but then you discover that there is no post is made. They have a very bad app. <coughs> I have to repost like five, six times in order to make one post work. Let us see if it's coming. Anyone see my post in in uh, in Patreon? Is it showing or not yet? Is it showing? Anybody can confirm. Nobody? Nothing. I have to repost again then. Nothing changed as usual. And then sometime you post it like five, six times, and then you come after a few hours, you find that it's posted many times. Embarrassing. Okay. Can you make Quran? Like Quran? Let us do it again. <clears throat> and hope it's going to work. Is it showing now? Anything is showing? Let me restart the app. <coughs> yeah, now it's showing. See? Now I posted it twice. Now I see it twice. Stupid app. All right. <coughs> Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? <coughs> Again, I need to make some hot drink. The tea is not doing good. The coffee, I mean. Any Muhammadan? I heard that nobody can make Quran like the Quran. Is that true? Any Mohammedan support that? Anyone? Like as an example, can you make a Quran like Quran is speaking about uh, flying carpet of Suleiman? You cannot. Or Suleiman is speaking to the end. From all Mickey Mouse cartoon I watch, I never saw such a beautiful story. Ali Muhammadan. And then the funny is, which make it really extremely funny, the Quran, all of, all of it, is about Allah copying quotation of others, which means they are making Quran. 
as an example, <clears throat> I never heard of a book nobody can write like it, but this book is written by an ant. Hmm? Who was the one who made this verse? Is it Allah or the ant? Yeah, there's a guy in Discord. He he wanna challenge me to debate me, but he don't speak English. But he's typing in English. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Any Muslim can tell me who is the one making this verse. So is saying such a sentence is hard until he arrived at the value of the end one and she said who's making this Quran now so Allah he is taking the statement of the end and now a Muslim saying who can write like the end can you Can you deny that the one who said this is the end? And now look how impossible to write Quran. Now Allah, he said to her, so Suleiman, he smiled, amused by her speech. But ants, they don't talk. They communicate by vibration. One of you sent me an email saying, uh, voice is vibration. People they get me wrong. Vibration here is not as a voice. It is by touching each other. The, the ants are deaf. So they knock at each other body. They don't feel sound. They feel the vibration of the body. So we are not talking about the sound. We are talking about touching each other. <clears throat> so how Suleiman he heard their speech? This is Allah talking now, smart Allah. And then Suleiman said, here the Quran is made by Suleiman. I thought nobody can make Quran like Allah. It turned to be Allah is quoting everybody, including the bird, the chicken, the uh, the ant, Suleiman. You know, he said, she said, everybody said. Right? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Go ahead, T. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Hello, CP. I talked to you yesterday. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, um, people always say that the Bible is, um, it has many updates. Doesn't the Quran have many updates too? Uh, first of all, the Bible does not have update. If they are talking about we discover a new manuscript, that is not an update. Yeah, I, no, this is not an update. I don't know the the, um, the word in English. It's no. like, I don't know. Um, no, this is the, the translation. So when uh, there is, uh, let us say, I, I wrote my book, uh, Deception of Allah, first to print. Second print, has yes, little um, changed. Uh, one question to that. Uh, yeah. Do you still have it in German? I've looked on Amazon, but it's um, sold out. There's no more in German. Deception uh, of Allah. Okay, I will check what uh, shouldn't be sold out because they should be printing. Maybe they have too many, they, maybe too, too many people are ordering them. So the update, you know, is about a translation, not update of the Bible itself. The Bible itself is the same. The manuscript is the manuscript. Nobody can change it. So <clears throat> I can now, I wrote my book in first print, second print, I noticed there is some a print uh, or the, because you know i'm just writing in a language it's not mine so if a translator he noticed that he uh, he can uh, make it uh, more clear or add something uh, in a change of tra translation <clears throat> that can happen but at the end of the day translation is translation muslim they can translate the bible too and they can give a false translation they can add even chapters if you want Nobody, you know, it's a free word. But at the end of the day, we have the original manuscript, which nobody can add to it or take from it. So the update have nothing to do. And sometimes there is a new update as a, as a new manuscript found. 
So like they discover a new manuscript. So they say, okay, well, this is manuscript. Now it's more clear as text from the previous one. So we will do update based on it. But still the Bible is the same, nothing changed. So the, the first Bible, the main Bible, what language is it? Is it Aramaic? There's Aramaic and Greek and Hebrew. And there is others, which is, uh, you know, uh, for the church father in other churches around the world, like Ethiopian, uh, Coptic, they are very old, you know. <clears throat> and then there is translation. So there is there is people who receive the gospel from the disciple himself in their language, and there is people who receive the gospel as a translation as us, the Arab. And the translation until now have many uh, uh, wrong translation as an example in the Arabic Bible right now they are using the word Allah <coughs> which is absolutely false but the Muslim they don't get upset Why? from the word because there is no in our Bible there is no Allah you know that is a false translation they live between the Muslims and you know they want to be practicing taqiyya like the Muslims cowards so they add the word Allah in the Bible, and now we have an Arabic translation, false translation, the word Allah. Well, what does um, God mean it means in Rab, Arabic? Rab, Rabbi, Ilahi, mm -hmm. you know. Ah, Allah with, with an E. No, Il is not Allah. Al Allah is two words. A L and La, that is the moon god. Ilah is not, the H is not even part of the word, Ilah. This is like they say, a fancy sound to 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 praise the word. So it is il. You add the h to praise it, but this is il. Have nothing to do with Allah. Al la. So we don't have such a word in the in our on our Bible. We cannot find it. If this if this is a name, we should find it in the Greek book too. Correct. And we should find yes. it. We should find it in the Hebrew, <clears throat> and we should find it uh, written clearly in the Aramaic. No, Il is an Elohim. Il, the 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 old uh, Aramaic and old uh, Hebrew, Il was Al, Al, A L, which mm -hmm. is a word meaning God. So this is not a name. This is not a name. This is the same as you use the word God if you are a Hindu. So if a Hindu guy he live in uh, between those in Syria or uh, between the uh, Iraqi, Chaldean, Assyrian, etc., he will use the word you use because this is the word you use for God. So there is a word with a generic word for God, and there is a name for God. Al La is two words. One is generic word for God, A L. It can be a pagan mm -hmm. god, or it can be a true God, and La is the name of the God. Oh, like Al Haq, because I've seen this. No, no, no. Al Haq, no. Al Haq, Al here in Arabic is a definition. Mm -hmm. I have nothing to do with, uh, you know, with the, what we are saying. Like you can say in, in English, you say the tree. So in Arabic, yes. in Arabic, you see, remember, this is Allah is not an Arabic word. Allah is not an Arabic word. It's a it's oh. a sentence exists ancient, long before the Arab is exist. So this is a foreign name taken from other religion. That's the same as all names of the Quran. Who is Jibreel? My next. Who is Gabriel? Gabra Il. Wasn't he devil? Gabra Il. 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 You see, Il is exist in the words of, of every uh, Muslim uh, important figure. So when they say uh, Gabriel or Mikael, or they say uh, Yahya, or they say uh, Zachariah. All those have the names or words which mean God in Hebrew. So, but you ask the Muslims, what Gabriel mean? They don't know. They have to go and search in the Hebrew to find, uh, to find uh, uh, what what the word mean. And now, actually, even the Muslim they change the name like Jibrail or Jibrail, Mikael. Okay, my next they, question. They, they write it, they, they even, you see, you see, Mikael, you type it Mikael, you cannot find it. You have to search for it in the way it's written in the Quran. So they don't even, they, they change the word, the way it is written. Uh, they change the way it should be written. And then, 
you asked him what Mikael means, they don't know. You know? Ask any Muslim now, what Jibreel mean? They don't know. What Mikael mean? They don't know. It have only a meaning if you connect it to Christianity. That's it. For Muhammad, he is not a prophet. He himself do not know what those words mean. He took them, he stole them. Uh, he add them in his book. And now, Jibreel became, uh, Gabriel became Jibreel. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, angels names in Islam. Israfil. Uh, who is Israfil? What Israfil mean? They don't know. Why? Because this is a name stolen from somebody else. Azrael. Who is Azrael? They don't know. Why is Jibril called Jibril? They don't know. Very simple. Um, second question. <clears throat> Can I ask? Uh huh. Um, do you how um how am I supposed to I want to um, do debates too against I want to convert people too to Christianity, but the mo um Islam is basically just Arabic if you go deep. So do you think I can increase my knowledge without knowing Arabic, like increase it to but, a high? But state? you know, but you know Arabic, right? No, I don't know. Arabic. Oh, you don't. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you can learn Arabic if you want. If you, uh, if you, uh, we have many Arabs in Germany, so I mean, <laughs> I know it's to say, Anna is there is a, I have Arabic. a channel, Arab for Christ, it have mm -hmm. many videos to teach you how to, to speak Arabic. We can learn if you want for free, Arab for Christ I on mean, YouTube or Patreon, you yeah, know, on YouTube. I made it for free for people to learn. You can watch video cool. by video, and you can learn how to connect the alphabet. You can learn how to pronounce it. You can learn how to write and how to read for free. Okay, and on based on like, let's say I'll start new. What would you say? Um, how much time would it take to get to a normal conversation? How much month or year? This is the main like person. There is, there, is, there is some people are very gifted, very mm -hmm. gifted. Some people they are not. Some people, they can learn languages so fast. Some people, they are not. I know a guy, he went to Greece. He don't speak mm. a, Greek, a single Greek word. He heard the Greek anthem in the car. He start right away singing the, the Greek anthem. He don't know a, a single Greek word. So obviously, he have a brain who can capture words, store them, and let's say he's gifted. Uh, some other person, even if he's a Greek and he's born in Greece, he need to repeat it many, many, many times so he can remember it. The guy, he just heard it once. <laughs> See? No. So th this is from person to person. There's people who they yeah. are they are gifted in something. Some people, they are gifted in music. Uh, like if you go to Philippines, everybody is a singer. If you hear, if you hear a Filipino singing, they don't even sing with accent. Like if they sing a, a countryside, a country song, they sing as if they are people born in Texas. Why? Because they are gifted in the when it's come to music. You know, they they memorize words as it is in the original language. Those they can learn languages so easy, so fast. But they are connected to learn with the music. If it's not the music, they will not learn it that fast. So you have to but make it. There... You have to make it a song for them. But is there like a main Arabic? Because I have friends from like Morocco. Well, the, Syria, when, when you read, no. when you learn how to read, how to write, there's only one classic Arabic. The rest is just uh, a street language. It's impossible for you to learn it unless, uh, and it's useless, you know. Like people in Morocco, mm. you know, when they speak, they are not speaking Arabic. They are, they are mixing the Berber language, the Amazigh, the Arabic, mm -hmm. the French, yeah, I'm say, yes. all words is mixed in one language. So as they say, Allah knows best what they are saying. <laughs> all right, okay, my, my, so, my I, can I have one more question? All right. Um, my third question is, can I go to heaven if I believe in Jesus and I do and I repent? What do I have to do? Like, 
what's the way to heaven besides believing in Jesus? The way to heaven, the way to heaven is not about believing in Jesus alone, because if you don't repent, that means you did not. <clears throat> Uh, you don't have the right to be to, to call yourself a believer. Mm. So this is why Jesus said, "Not everyone says to me, God, God, will enter the kingdom of my Father, the but the one who do His will." So His will is to repent and fight your sin, and to believe. So if you believe only, that mean if you oh, that mean you claim to believe. You are not a believer. A believer is someone who fight his sin and stand against it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so believing in Christ is not a license for sin or a license to go to heaven, but it is the opposite. It is about you, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, witnessing to Jesus through the action, not only the words. <clears throat> so, if you if you if you believe in Jesus, you don't go and fornicate, or you kill or rape, or you are a pedophile. You don't believe in Jesus, obviously. This is why Jesus said, that "From their fruits you shall know them." So if your fruit is sin, then where is Jesus in your life? How come Jesus did not affect your fruits? You know, mm -hmm. imagine <clears throat> we have a tree. The tree is a green. The tree have fertilizer. The tree is watered. The tree have air. The tree have sun. Yes. Still the tree have an excuse not to give a fruit. What is the excuse? None. What Jesus said, the tree who don't give a fruit would be cut off, thrown in hellfire. <clears throat> All right? Yes, thank you, sir. You're welcome. We as a Christians, we don't believe like Mohammedans. They say Shahada and that's it, you go to heaven. That's no. <clears throat> We don't have such a garbage. Christianity does not promote uh, sin like Islam. It looks like my voice is getting bad. <clears throat> Actually, Muslims, they lie and they say let's drink some water. Muslims, they say that Christians believe that Jesus died for their sin. That means they have a license for their sin. In fact, it's the Muslims who say so. Anyone remember the video of Zakir Naik? <coughs> about, uh, <coughs> about the hundred, uh, the 100 note? Anyone remember the name of the video? So we can play it on love? Zakir Naik. Let me see. Yeah, <clears throat> the Zakir Naik, a Hindu, uh, an Indian person, or atheist, I don't know, or a Muslim, ask him a question about the Christians and the Muslims. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. I think this is the one. <clears throat> With the junior that asked the question that what is the difference between Islam and Christianity? When the Christians say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has paid for our sins, and we counter them and saying that if he's paid for our sins, then we can rob, we can cheat. See? See how they lie? <clears throat> According to Zakir Naik, we Christians, we believe... What happened to my voice? I guess I need a break from talking for some time. So, in the Christianity, Zakir Naik is saying that we Christians believe that we can rape, we can kill, we can cheat. I am not visible in YouTube. What do you mean not visible in YouTube? You guys don't see my video on YouTube? 
Okay, let's see what we have in YouTube. No, I am live in YouTube. And there's 470 people watching. What are you talking about? If you are talking about the video of Zachary Naik, I'm not showing it. <coughs> so this is Zachary Naik. is lying again. Actually, I'm going, I need to download this video. Because this is a very important video for me. Let us see if we can download it. Ah. It says to me you have to pay for YouTube to download it. Okay, I will save it for now. Because they might take it down. <clears throat> So he just lied, and he said that we Christian believe that because Jesus died for our sin, we can kill, we can rape, we can, you know, sound like we are Hamas now, sound like we are Muhammad now, when the fact this is them. And then Zakir Naik himself, he explained to you how Muslim sin is forgiven. And then we will find it's them who believe in that. For a sin, then we can rob, we can cheat, we can rape and paid for, so no problem, so it's illogical. So won't that same thing apply for the Muslim when we see? say in Islam, Allah is most graceful, Allah is most forgiving. So if you do a sin, you repent and Allah will forgive you. Isn't it the same? There is a world of a difference between the two. There is a difference of chopped and cheese. Really? On the face of it, you may see, you may think it's the same, but there is a world of a difference. Uh -huh. As far as the Christian concept is, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, died for the sins of humanity. This is not mentioned in the Bible. It is. It's not mentioned in the Bible that he died. <laughs> Guys, it's not mentioned in the Bible that Jesus, he died for the sin of humanity. Hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> Let us continue reading and then we go over it for a little bit. I mean, stupidity is amazing. Yeah, he did not die for humanity. He did not say in the Bible anywhere. It's the same when he say, it doesn't say anywhere that Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Continue. The wrong teaching of the church. Huh? That they claim that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, knows Billah, is the begotten son of God, and he died for the sins of humanity, which is totally huh? against the teachings of the Bible. And I've discussed that in my lectures. To counter them, we say that if Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is paid for the sins of human being, that means today I can rob, I can cheat, I can rape, I can do all the sins. <laughs> we can do What a big fat liar scumbag you are. That means you stupid idiot son of Muta. Isn't it your God is the one who says Allah forgive all sin except shirk? In my Bible, you say the teacher of the church, isn't it my Bible says drunken, homosexual, thieves, criminals, evildoers, they will not enter the kingdom of God? Isn't this my Bible? Who is a Muslim can show me a verse like that in the Quran? Do you see how they lie? What the big fat liar. This is what they teach Muslims, by the way, in their schools. Those Muslim kids, they learn this. And they believe in such a garbage. And Jesus, brother, he did not say he died for our sin. This is the church. Who is the church? What do you mean the church? What do you mean the church? This is the Bible teaching. It's all over the Bible, and this is what Jesus told them. Isn't it God, he said, in the Bible? For God loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. To do what? To save them. And when he came to this earth, Mankind killed him. So, because he came, the purpose is what? <clears throat> he 
you know, the Muslims, they try to fabricate a new meaning of this uh, sentence. When the Bible says he died for our sin, it doesn't mean that Jesus came <clears throat> and he said, hey, hey, guys, kill me, so I will die, and then you can sin. What the Bible teaching us, he came to save us from our sin and because of our sin. And when he came to us, we killed him because of our sin. He died. And then the one who accepts him, he will be saved. A second choice or let's say a second opportunity for mankind to be saved. They lie and they say, will Jesus die for their sin? That means they can lie and fornicate and kill. Any Muslim can show me where it says that in the Bible? We have a totally clear verses saying the opposite. Go ahead, Zed. <coughs> Zed is... Hello, go ahead. Do you hear me? I hear you. Are you a Muslim? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. See, the thing is, I would, I would like to say that you are no different from us Muslims. I'm not what? You are not different from us Muslims. I mean, I am talking about us, the real Muslims. I am no different from the real Muslims? What does that mean? Yes, you talk filthy. Your language is dirty. Like what? Can you remind me? Don't have to remind you. Why? You have to remind me because I did not remember I said filthy. I, if I say something filthy, I was quoting your prophet. As you keep calling people, you keep saying people, you stupid, you are. Abdul, you potato, and so on and is so forth. You is keep Ab calling people names. Is Abdul a filthy language now? So is it why Allah he call you Abdul? Allah call you Abdul in the Quran. What is the name of the father of Muhammad? Is it, is Abdul. Isn't it Abdul? No, Abdul. I can if, oh, if, if you go right now and type in the internet the name Abdul, you will find it everywhere. Abdul is a is a word mean slave of Allah. You are Abdul. So you are get upset because you are Abdul. Now I will call you potato. Listen, listen. I will call you, I will call yeah, yeah. you, I will call you, saying, I will call you potato, how that is a filthy it's word, not. how that is a filthy word. Because it doesn't sound nice, it doesn't sound very appropriate, you know. So, shall I say to you, you are a pig, like the Quran says about the Christians and the Jews, or Najis, they are filthy, or a donkey, as the Quran says, this is the Quran. So, if I use the language of the Quran with you, as an example, if I say to you, go and buy the penis of your father, that will make me a nice person? These days, you don't really have to call people by names, you know? If you I, if I, real names. if I say to you, go and bite the penis of your father, is that a filthy language or good language? Of course, it is a filthy language. Well, this is what your prophet said. Thank you very much. I mean, you will, you will have to you have to put that in a different term, like ah, I mean, a very different term. term you know? What different term? The guy he don't believe in Muhammad teaching. He said to then tell him to go and buy the the penis of your father. Guys, now it's okay. Suddenly, potato, potato is a filthy word. Abdul is a filthy word. Buy the penis of your father is accepted now. <laughs> okay, just uh, next time don't come here alone. Just bring your penis with you. All right. Don't come alone and go and bite the penis of your father and don't forget to take a selfie and next to it write down this is not a filthy language but potato is a filthy language I mean it's you have the proof now you have my voice recorded and you the proof your voice is recorded approving saying by the penis of your father according to you this is not a filthy language just because Muhammad is the one in the, right guys when I said to him, is that a filthy word? He said, yes. The second I said, Muhammad say so, it is, uh, uh, you have to take the terms of it. <laughs> potato. Do you see why I call you potato? Because you don't have the guts to stand for what you just agreed upon. 
You agreed that bite the penis of your father is a filthy word. You agreed. In less than two seconds, the second I say your prophet say so. You know, this will remind me of the teacher he was doing, you know, an Arabic teacher. <clears throat> so I wrote the word in the Quran wrong. Sorry, the word in Arabic wrong. This teacher, he hate me because always I get him busted. So we came, you know, after a few days to the class and he started slandering me. He said, look at this guy. Hmm. Uh, you know, he uh, he think he is a smart. He nobody can answer him. He always bother us. But look how he wrote this word. And then he started calling me all kind of names. Even a child who will not make such a mistake. Even a donkey will not make such a mistake. Even, 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 even. And I was smiling all this time. <laughs> and then look, he said, look, 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 he don't even care. He don't even care instead of being ashamed of how he is writing the word. He's, he's smiling. Can you believe it? <laughs> so... He said, can you tell them why you are idiot smiling? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Uh, I said, sir, this is how the word written in the Quran. The second I said that, the Abdul teacher, he starts from, like he, he is, he's shaking, honest to God. His face turned yellow. He was terrified. And then right away he starts saying, uh, 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 actually, he's right. He's right. This is the correct way to write it. Like, what? He was calling me donkey, stupid, idiot. A child can but make it better than me, etc. The second I said, this is how it's written in the Quran. It is the correct way. And now it was the last class in the day. And now he's afraid that those children, they will go to their parents and they will tell their parents, there is a guy, he wrote the Arabic as the Quran, the teacher called him donkey and stupid and mental. So he closed the door, the the the, the school bell ring. This is last class, we have to go home. He closed the door and now he tried to explain to, the, to those kids that he did not mean what they heard. He was meaning the opposite. He was saying, I was waiting for you to, to correct me, to tell me, uh, sir, this is the correct way. But all of you, you fail. He's right. So he spent another 15, 20 minutes just to explain to them that absolutely this is the correct way to write it. Just because I said to him, this is how it's written in the Quran. He did not even go to check it in the Quran. And this is how the Abdul are. So going back to the Quran and Yuka, he said the Christians, they believe that uh, they can commit sin and they can fornicate and they can rape and they can kill. In fact, it is the Muslims. Who is a Muslim can show me a verse saying in the Bible such a thing. However, I can show you in the Quran and in the Hadith hundreds of those things any Muslims in the Bible we have a clear verses about people who do sin or wrong evil doers they will not go to heaven even if you are drunken if you are a person who get a drink and you're drunk and you make it a lifestyle you don't go to heaven why because when you drink and you get a drunk you do things you are not aware of and then you commit sin. You might even commit a massive ugly sin. You become a Muhammadan actually. You are drunk. Muhammadan are drunk with Muhammad. Nobody want to see a truth. So now they justify raving children. If we go in the Bible,
we will find a clear evidence that every you know we have tons of verses not only one not two but we will use something uh, uh, very easy to understand So what we will do, do we have any Abdul? Who is a Muslim here agree with Zakir Naik? And the funny is, Zakir Naik in the same video he says, if you say Shahada, all your sin is gone. In the same video. <laughs> you just say Shahada. What we say? Just you say Shahada. And Zakir Naik, he considered Shahada. He said, I think he said, that he gave an example. Let's say you have 152 notes dollars by saying shahada you have 100 dollar note it's not about how many notes you have it's about what kind of note you have so saying shahada this is a 100 dollar note you pass that's it he said that he compared islam into money And if you say the Shahada, immediately you are in heaven. Who is the one believe that he have a license for sin, Muslims? Any of you have the courage to admit your sin by following Muhammad? You don't. Do you know why? Because you decide to become a coward. That is the truth. Any Abdul? And then this coward, he kept bragging about his lies. That's why I want to save this video as an evidence. I want to, I want to use it in churches to, see, to show the Christians how Muslims, they lie about us. How they fornicate, lying about us, because this is a form of fornication. Is it true, really, that we are people who believe in what Zakir Naik just said? Any Muslim can come and confirm what Zakir Naik said. And then the same Zakir Naik, he give us how Islam forgive your sin. Let me be sure which part of the video here says that. Okay, hold on, let's see here. I'm just trying to find out which part of the video he said. Maybe this is not the same video, let's see. No, this is not the same video. Anyone knows the, the video we played before? about the 100 note anyone know the video name let me look for hold on
We need to <clears throat> we need to find it when he spoke about the one hundred note. Let us see. The one who posed the video, is that a video for for the hundred note? So he is the creator, he sets the rule, we hmm. are the people who are undergoing it. it you may get as many other marks in the other question. This is number one. And let me give you a third example. Uh -huh. That if there is a question paper, the total marks of all the answers in the question paper it totals to 1000 marks. One question is compulsory. Most yeah, the, I don't think this is the same one. We want the video about the notes. Anyone we'll have it? Giving charity zakat, maybe 50 marks. Yeah, it's the same, but there is the one who used the note. It's a close to the one that the note is better. Anyone have it? He, he's using Mark, he, he stopped using the word money. Let me see if I did ever save it in my bookmark. Uh, here I have nothing. Let us I'm just trying to find the video, you know. I I thought I did save it somewhere, but actually I asked people to save it for me, but I don't know. I should download it to my computer because this is very important video exposing the garbage of Muhammad. <coughs> Let us see this one. That why non-Muslims who do righteous deed will be put into hellfire, and Muslims who are unrighteous. I don't know. This is the one. Let us see. It have to talk about notes. That if there is a question paper. Yeah, this is the same video I played. This is not about the money. The one mission. The number two is Salah. Maybe carrying hundred marks. Okay, it's okay. Actually, this one is fine. We can use it. But now look what he said. In the other video, he said uh, he mentioned one hundred note, one hundred dollar note. So you have one hundred fifty-two dollars, and he divided. And now he tell you how you go to heaven. If you say shahada, brother, by saying shahada, you have one hundred dollar note. Yes, that's it. One hundred dollar after what? So if you go in the beginning of this video. So the compulsory paper in Islam is Tawheed. You should believe in one God and worship Him alone and no one else. And the first pillar that I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah is compulsory. If you fail in this, 
you fail in the test. That's it. You may get as many other marks in the other question. This is number one. And let me give you a third example. That if there is a question paper, the total marks of all the answers in the question paper, it totals to 1000 marks. Let me put that in the One screen so people, so people laugh. <laughs> this is the video for you guys. But still, if you can find me the one about the note, let me know. All right. If you can find me the one about the note here, he changed it. He make it about uh, uh, a note. Note. Let me know. questions. You know, he make it about questions. So if you have that. Let me see. This is the video. We'll expose all the lies of Muslims. But if anyone can tell me where we can find the video about the notes, he mentioned the word note as money. And he said, it's not about how many notes you have, it's about what notes you have. So there's $100, there's nine, uh, there's uh, $50, there's a uh, $20, there's $10, there's $5. And he mentioned, and he said, if you say the Shahada, by saying that alone, witnessing that only Allah is, is God and Muhammad is Prophet, you got 100 mark. So let us make it simple here in this video. Zakir Naik is saying that if you say this sentence alone, just by saying this sentence alone, you are passing the exam to go to heaven. You don't do anything. You do not need to fast. You do not need to pray. You do not need to do anything. By saying that sentence, let us go to the minute five. The minute five. Zakir Naik explaining the wisdom of Allah. Listen on love. And you will see that Islam is the one who believe and teach that Muslim they can do all kind of sin. All what they need to do is to say Shahada. Listen carefully. You should believe in one God and worship Him alone and no one else. And the first pillar that I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah is compulsory. If you fail in this, you fail in the test. You may get as many other marks in the other question. This is number one. And let me give you a third example. Mm -hmm. That is there is a question paper. The total marks of all the answers in the question paper, it totals to 1000 marks. Okay. One question is compulsory. So now listen, there's exam and the degrees is from 1000. One question is not a choice, which means if you don't pass it, you fail totally. One question. What is the question and how much marks by saying the correct answer you will get? Let us see. Most important, which carries 501 marks. This question alone is 500. How many? Yeah, Abdul, did you hear it? This question alone, if you answer it correctly, you pass. <laughs> it carries 501 marks. 501. Well, listen, listen, did he say 501? Do you know why he said 501? He did not say 500. Because if you say 500, uh, you know, is 50, 50. By saying 501, by answering this question, you pass. That's it. You are guaranteed. So who is the one who believe that you can sin as much you want? So now by saying Muhammad is a prophet and Allah is God, I pass. That's it. And the minimum passing marks, the minimum passing for this paper is 501. If you get anything See? less than 501 out of 5,000, out of 1,000, sorry, that means you have to get more than 50% marks. You have to get minimum 501. <laughs> if you get anything less than 501 out of 1,000, you fail the examination. That means this one main question, which is compulsory, it is Tawheed. It is the first pillar of Islam that there's no one worthy of worship except Almighty God and Prophet Muhammad is a messenger for Almighty God. This is number one, which carries 501 marks. Then number two is Salah, maybe carrying 100 marks. 
maybe. But you see, you do not need to do salah. You get, you just pass. You just get the five hundred one mark. He said to pass, you need to get five hundred one, the minimum. By saying shahada, you, and, and you notice here he said salah. He did not say not to commit sin. Okay. So now you do shahada five hundred marks, five hundred one. Uh, you do salat, 300, the 800 one, almost I'm 1,000. I'm very good just by doing two things, saying shahada and doing prayer. So now I fornicate, I kill. If I fornicate, I'm going to go lose a grade? No. <laughs> Am I going to be kicked from the class? No. All what he's counting have nothing to do with being a good person. Because you say shahada, what does have to do with being a good person? Nothing. Doing Salat, what does have to do with being a good, good person? Nothing. So now he says Salat 300. Then, would be giving charity Zakat, maybe 50 marks. So I give some donation, that's 50 mark. Imagine donation is 50 mark. Saying Shahada is 501. Doing Salat 300, it turned to be the charity is nothing in Islam. 50, you get nothing. <laughs> And uh, when a Muslim he do charity, what he do? He uh, uh, he steal money from the Christian and the Jews, and he give charity to Hamas. <laughs> then forty in the month of Ramadan. Did he say fourteen? Zakir Naik, I don't know. I need my my friend. You need to fix your teeth. It's fasting, not fourteen. I heard it. You said fourteen in the month of Ramadan. Fasting okay. in the month of the heck. I don't believe he said 14. I will, yeah, he said 14. Then, 40 in the month. Oh, oh boy. All right, 15 in the month of Ramadan, 14, 14 in the month of Ramadan. How many grades you will get? Of Ramadan, that may be 20 marks. That's it? So Ramadan is just 20 marks? Hmm? Is it? How are you? You are back? Did you bring your parents with you? Zed, Zed, are you there? What do you think about your prophet saying to a man, go and bite the penis of your father? Hello, see the voice is getting cut every now and then. I told you, Abdul, stop using the internet of the neighbors. You, Abdul, you keep using the internet of the neighbor. You never pay for anything. <laughs> Yeah, you go to Germany, it's for free, food for free, it apartment was. for free. Yeah. Uh, so now, did you tell your father, go and bite your the, your father's penis? Did you tell him what your prophet said? CCPI, first of all, I would like to really apologize for having accused you of using the filthy language or the dirty language. I know you are a Christian prince, you are different my parents to Adrand. I don't know, I feel like I would like to throw up this on you because of my parents, you know what? I don't understand. What? Can you hear me? Yeah, can my you friend, hear me? Are you using the walkie-talkie? My friend, I cannot understand anything. Thank you very much. Stop using the walkie-talkie and the internet of the neighbors. Let's go back to Zakir Naik. So if you fart on Ramadan, you get 50 uh, agreed. So where is about not do committing sin, not to fornicate, nowhere? Until now we heard nothing. Then, it may, going for Hajj, that may be the 10 marks. Another, maybe hundred more, hundreds of more questions. Two marks, one mark, three See, marks. See, the rest is a hundred, one mark. Like, did you fornicate? If you say yes, this is you lose only one mark. Did you kill? Yes, this is you lose only. The rest is only maybe a hundred uh, question. Uh, you know, uh, one mark, two mark, one mark, two mark. So what is the what Islam? What make you go to heaven? Islam, saying shahada alone is enough. You wanna make yourself even higher? Do salah three hundred marks. You want to go higher? Just uh, give it charity. 50, nothing much. <clears throat> so if I say Shahada alone, 
my sin is forgiven in Islam. So those coward, they lie, they say Christians believe that they can fornicate and they can kill and they can rape because Jesus died for their sin. And this is absolutely a big fat lie. And I challenge a Muslim, any Muslim, to show me one verse like the Bible says it clearly. In fact, we just heard your Abdul making it so clear. If we go to 1 Corinthians, what the Bible says, destroy every claim, every claim Muhammad he make and Muhammad and make. Proving that Islam is nothing but satanic. As you see, they give license for every sin. It is Islam who give license for sin, not Christianity. First Corinthians 6. When one of you has a grievance against another, does he dare go to law before the unrighteous instead of the saints? Or do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you incompetent to try trivial cases? Do you not know that we are to judge angels? How much more than matters pertaining to this life? So if you have such cases, why do you lay them before those who have no standing in the church? I say this to your shame. Can it be that there is no one among you wise enough to settle a dispute between the brothers, but brother goes to law against brother and that before unbelievers? To have lawsuits at all with one another is already a defeat for you. Why not rather suffer wrong? Why not rather be defrauded? But you yourselves wrong and defraud even your own brothers? Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. All things are lawful for me. Are you Muslims? Does the Bible teach that you can commit sin? Or the Bible says the opposite? So if you are a Christian, you don't do any of those things. But when you believe in Jesus, you don't practice those things. And the Lord, your belief, will sanctify you. Will clear you from your sin. But not by committing more sin, but by repenting and never doing it again. That's why the Bible says, unrighteous will not inherit. So as long you are unrighteous, you don't have a place in the kingdom of God. But as we saw, with Zachary Naik, still, if, if somebody can send me later the video of the notes, it's better than this one. This time I will be sure to download it and save it. Uh, Zachary Naik, how Muslims go to heaven by. All right, I saved this one, but not in my computer, but in my favorite. <clears throat> so later we can use it. <clears throat> okay, let me see the currency note. Uh, no, I think the one currency note, there was no audience. It was only, he was sitting in his uh, office. But maybe he repeat the same thing in different video. Let's see, hold on, give me a second. 
the currency note I, want, I know, he was sitting exactly the same as he is now in his office. There was no audience, you know. Uh, no, this is not the one. The currency note is about, he said, let us say you have uh, 150 something notes, talking about money. And he was telling them, it's not about how many notes you do have, it's about the value of the note. The same had to do with the mark now in this video. So if you have the Shahada, you have the $100 note. And now already you passed long time ago the test of heaven and hell. That is the video we want. And I appreciate, by the way, the one is trying to find it for me. Later, if you find it, you can send it to me in Patreon, please. Be sure it's YouTube video. Do we have any Muhammadan? Is it, did you fix your internet? Okay, let's see if your internet is fixed. I will give you a chance again. Each time we give the microphone to Zed, his mic is not working. Go ahead, Zed. <clears throat> See, as I've told you, first of all, I would like to really apologize for having said that you use filthy languages. Mm -hmm. mm. And? Uh, let me tell you, I, I do not really speak good English, and I hope you understand me. I think you speak English better than me. Go ahead. No, sir. See, the thing is, I would like to apologize because, uh, first of all, I am not a real Muslim, though I consider myself to be one because of the issue that I have recently in my family. I, the thing is, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know how to put this, uh, but the thing is, I am in love with this uh, Muslim girl and I told my parents because my parents are Christians and they are really very religious, religious to me. And when I told them about our relationship, I told them like, okay, see, she, she really wants to come and live with me and become a Christian. But they were like, okay, if you really want to get married to a Muslim girl, you better leave the house and you be out of the family relationship, uh, yeah, and some other things like that, and it really hurts me, so I don't know what to put this into, like, I would, I feel like it would be best if I could throw this up, up to any Christian that I could meet, so, I don't know, I mean, deeply, I consider myself a Muslim because of what I, parents really treated me, I am from India, a prop. All right, my friend from India. Your business with the Muslim girlfriend is your business, none of my business. A Christian person cannot marry a Muslim woman, as simple as that, because dark and light, light, they cannot be in the same place. Go and take your private matter to your private room, none of my business. And if you want to bring a Muslim woman to your bedroom, you are just a fornicator and you are no Christian. Um... Uh, <coughs> And we know many people here, they come and they bring their, you know, funny stories. Why somebody want to go in the internet and you want to tell such a story? How silly, how stupid you are. What the heck is this? <laughs> I know, people are weird, man. People are weird. No comment. Uh, I remember you watching debate a PhD Muslim where he discussed who is Allah that video explained clearly who Allah uh, is that uh, is he the moon god I really wanted to share the video. I don't know where's my videos. I don't keep my videos, as you know. 
That's why now we are going a ramble so we can keep them. In YouTube, we cannot keep them. YouTube keep taking my videos down. That's why we are going a ramble. So from now on, if you want to find a video, you go to ramble. I don't keep my videos in YouTube and they will not stay in YouTube. I assure you that. Otherwise, by now, I should have like a million videos in YouTube. The next time, if you find a video is important for you, then you better download it yourself and reload it. You can make it even a private YouTube video, like only you can see it. Like make an archive for yourself. But you don't do that. So later you will not look for it. Right? <clears throat> All right. Uh, you know, I cannot find any video of mine. How I can find it if, if people don't download it? And then when people download it, they give it their own name. So I, I don't know how to find it. Me, myself, I cannot find my own video. Because people download it, they give it their own name. And then good luck to find it. Right? Somebody asking in YouTube how you can join uh, me in Discord. There is a link in Patreon. You can click in it, go to Patreon, find where my post about uh, the Discord, and you can join us. Or maybe somebody can post for you a link. All right, guys. Uh, I think we have enough for today. And maybe I better rest my voice so if I can go later at night, my voice is getting tired. Yeah, all my videos, you can take them, you know. You can take all my videos. I give you permission for that, you know. The only thing I don't give you permission to claim that your chair is mine. That's all. Just make it clear that this is not me. So don't pose as if you are a Christian prince. I saw some people, they are, they make it sound like this is a Christian Prince channel and they are asking people for donation. Those are obviously, they are a scam. And I warned them and they change it because obviously they are trying to fool people and make people give them donation. So you pause video, you monetize the videos, no problem, you know, good for you. Uh, but don't lie and claim to be me. That will make you satanic. Nothing more. Right? Uh, somebody saying, send me child support CP. Uh, what, are you, what happened to you? Crush, are you the child? Or your man, he left you? Are you five years old, six years old, like Aisha? <clears throat> Mm. Mm. Internet, you know. In the internet, you find all kind of weird people. You remind me once. Uh, I mean, I heard tons of stories about you know people saying things. But one of the scams uh, you can find in, uh, you know, you can find in the world that somebody, they try to make money out of you. So either they use your name or they, uh, they hijack your uh, character, your personality, your identity, etc. And here, this is another example. What on earth? CP is a standing on business? What is that? Anybody understand what this guy is saying? What on earth? CP is standing on business? What is that? What is business? I have no idea what people are saying. Cuckoo! A lot of cuckoo. 
This is the benefit of the internet, actually. You meet all kind of people. Kuku, kukuruku, kakarika, kuku. So if I say to somebody, if you make money from my videos, that mean I stand on business? What on earth? Wow. I said, he make money, not me. I don't know what, what to say. CP, it means you are very, you are serious about your work. Ah, uh, okay, you are serious about your work. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> I know, you know, text is, it's a plain text, so you don't know what people mean. They mean mockery, they mean good, you don't know. Anyway, for me, uh, what, what, who cares about what people say? But I know that always there is people who they are silly and stupid and they will jump in the middle of the table just to show off. <clears throat> Standing your business on business, taking your job seriously. Still, I don't understand what uh, what that means. So, like, uh, he discovered that now? Is that like a new discovery for you? Did, did we just find, find uh, oil? Shall I change my name and call myself Kuwait? I don't know. People, they say silly stuff, you know. Now he discovered that Christian Prince, he take his business seriously. I have no comment. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> Try to use chat GBT to translate cuckoo cuckoo comment. I, I, I think the cuckoo cuckoo comment, chat GBT will go nut for it and it will explode. There is a there is a joke, but maybe for you will not understand it. But if you are an Iraqi, you will. So they brought a, the biggest computer supposedly, and they brought a three citizen from the earth to ask the most difficult question, the th the most three complicated questions. The first guy was uh, you know Japanese. He asked the question to the computer. The computer answered it in twenty seconds. They they brought uh, you know a China, I cannot say the American because American they cannot ask any question. They don't even know where is Israel is. So uh, they brought a the Chinese. The you know the computer asked in thirty seconds. Answer the question. They brought an Iraqi guy, and he asked the computer a question. The computer one minute, two minute. Three minute, seven minute, smoke start coming from the computer. The computer getting so hot. The computer is smoking so hard. The computer boom explode. So all the journalists they came to the Iraqi guy and they said, "What you what what in the world you ask him?" I, I just said to him, "Shukumaku," which means "What's up?" <laughs> Actually, it's not "What's up." It's "What is and what is not." <laughs> Like, you know, like you ask, you know, in Iraqi, like when you say shukumaku, which means, what is there? Like you're asking him, uh, it's funny sentence actually, it doesn't make sense. Like, what is there, what is not there? What is, you know, what's happening, what is not happening? The question doesn't make any sense. So, uh, what we can say, shukumaku, All right? And people here, they come to you with Shokomako question. And then you try to understand them. <clears throat> yeah. So now you learn the, the, the keyword to destroy any computer in the world. If you want to destroy 
the, the biggest computer for Elon Musk, just ask him, Shukumaku, you know, and he will go boom. Yeah, it's like Shufi Murphy, you know, this is different accent, different dialect, different in the country. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Some people in the chat, they can say things they don't mean to insult, right, or to make fun. But because English is not my first language, so I don't understand really what they are saying. So if I, if this is the scenario, I apologize. I don't mean to, to be rude to you. But in the same time, uh, we have to go by what we understand. And uh, maybe you better not to use words I do not know what they mean. Uh, all right we look like we don't have any customers today maybe we'll come again later uh, yeah we have no customers muslims are our customers you guys are not customers there's no benefit of you what you what, what is your benefit <laughs> what i can get from you nothing I get I get the benefit from the Muslims. They come, they speak to me. Uh, they, you know, either they leave Islam or they leave Islam or they leave the chat. <laughs> so the big the the best part of it is when you show a Muslim how silly and stupid Islam is, uh, and you give him opportunity to prove himself to be right, and always they fail. Muslims, they can look successful only if they are speaking to someone as an ignorant or they are playing games with someone who do not know or how to deal with their games. So a Muslim, he paint himself with oil and he think he become a slippery. So he go from a Christian chat room to Christian chat room. They try to catch him saying something. They cannot. He cover himself by oil. However, with a Christian prince, I can catch you. It doesn't matter how much oil you put on your body. For very simple reason. I don't catch you with hands. I catch you with your own logic, which is very oily. And then I will set the oil in fire and it will be burned within your lives. This is what we do. All right, guys. Uh, maybe, I don't know, should I keep this video on? We did not say anything. I mean, we did not have any Abdul. Did we keep it? I'm not sure. Take it down. Leave it. Maybe take it down from YouTube. Keep it in Rumble. I don't know. And you know, the funny is... Uh, you see a video, it was uh, uh, 15,000 20 hours ago, and then the video 15,000 10 hours after, and then the video is 18,000 a day after. You know, obviously, YouTube is, is playing dirty games with us, but this is how it is. All right, guys, I will try to come later maybe afternoon or at night. And until we see you soon again, may the Lord bless you. And we are always victorious by the wisdom of the Lord. And I advise the Muslim not to believe in what Muslim says to you. When Zakir Naik, he said that Christians believe that they can rape and kill and cheat and fornicate and they go to heaven, that's absolutely false. And if there is a Christian, he believes in that, he is no Christian. I assure you that. If there is someone who says to you, he is a Christian, and he believed that he can commit all kind of sin, yet he is going to hell, to heaven, he is a false Christian. This is not what the Bible says. Our book is the Bible. It's not he, she, he said, she said. And the Bible is so clear. Very clear. And we can show you not only verses from the disciple of Jesus, we can show you verses from the mouth of the Lord himself. As simple as that. 
So don't listen to those liars. The purpose of those lies is to make you believe Christianity is bad. So you don't listen to us. And actually, this is additional proof, proving Islam to be a fraud. Because why somebody want to lie about our faith? Saying things we don't believe in. Unless he is following the devil. If there is anywhere in the Bible it says that you can commit sin, isn't it Jesus? He said to the women, Go and sin no more. Liars, liars will end in fire. And that is Muhammad and whoever promote his lies. God bless you and see you soon again. Take care.